I have a singular focus. I understand you do too, and I screwed that up, and I'm sorry. But because it's you, I can't really be that sorry, can I? When CM Punk made his miraculous comeback to WWE, there were two people who outright hated his return. The first one was Seth Rollins. You can see in this clip where Seth Rollins is just irate at seeing CM Punk in the entranceway. As the months went on and CM Punk officially signed to Monday Night Raw, it was Seth Rollins who confronted him and said he hated seeing him here in WWE. With every fiber in my being, I hate you. The seeds were sown for the big match at WrestleMania. Even Triple H said in the WrestleMania 40 behind the curtain that they were looking at Seth Rollins as a CM Punk at WrestleMania. It was locked in. Seth Rollins' initial match for WrestleMania at that moment in time was CM Punk. But CM Punk unfortunately tore his tricep and got injured. And as I always say, it's a blessing in disguise. Seth Rollins' focus eventually shifted towards the bloodline and Drew McIntyre and he forgot about CM Punk. Even though CM Punk was at the announcer's table during their match. And then the other person was Drew McIntyre himself. Now let me introduce to the CM Punk and Drew McIntyre cycle. CM Punk returns and screws Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre gets mad and beats up CM Punk. Punk is out of action. Drew McIntyre gets a world title shot. CM Punk returns and screws Drew McIntyre again. This has now become a loop. CM Punk in the last press conference said that as long as he is alive, Drew McIntyre will not become world champion. Now I'm going to prey on him and he's never going to ever be a champion here as long as I live. Not. Well, he didn't just say that for the sake of saying it, he in fact proved it. Drew McIntyre won the Money in the Bank briefcase in the opening match as he vowed. And as he promised, he decided to cash in the same day. But CM Punk, being the real devil as he has been, made his return again and he screwed Drew McIntyre again. CM Punk is essentially 4-0 and against Drew McIntyre. But here's the crazier part. By screwing Drew McIntyre, he accidentally screwed Seth Rollins as well. Remember the stipulation. And now by doing this, CM Punk has reignited his rivalry with Seth Rollins and he has an ongoing feud with Drew McIntyre as well. Plus there is history between Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. The layers to this story is actually insane. And this is a rare three-way feud which has already become legendary without having a single match. Now what's next? Drew McIntyre has been indefinitely suspended after his post-match antics. And WWE is more or less siding towards CM Punk in this scenario. They haven't fined him for his involvement on previous occasions. This feud is gonna be so good and it's eventually culminated at WrestleMania 41, mark my words. But already it has become legendary.